Wolverhampton's Grand Theatre plays host to Greece from the 27th of November through to the 2nd of December. Their Rizzo is Louisa Lytton and she is sat next to me now. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm all right and you must be loving this tour. You've got probably one of the best parts in the show. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. I'm so lucky that I'm playing Rizzo. She's so much fun. I mean, growing up, everyone wants to be Sandy, but I think you hit 16 and you're like, now I want to be Rizzo. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, playing it with the right level of sass, an incredible amount of sexiness and just living that role on stage. Is that how you live your life generally? No, and it's really <laughs> funny because, you know, to play a character like that on stage, it does kind of build up your confidence in everyday life because all of a sudden, when you're having to, for two hours of the evening, be this like confident, sassy I kind of get off the stage and I'm like... <laughs> There's no messing you when you go for a pizza afterwards. That's no, it. no, no, no. <laughs> no, it is, it is good fun and it's nice for me because obviously all I've ever really played, you know, TV-wise, is the victim, the girl next door. The So for me to now play a character that's like, you know, at the top there and everyone has to kind of go by her rules and... Yeah, it's, it's really fun for me. And it's been a career which started out in musicals, but uh, has seen television along the way. Yeah, so I went to Sylvia Young. So I I trained in all three, but it's just not something that I ever thought I'd be doing, if mm. I'm honest, was, was a musical. I always wanted to act, and I always saw myself doing more like drama and TV. So then to be offered this, I was like, God, I've not done this in years. Um, so I was quite scared to begin with. It was quite daunting just to go back to you know my roots and mm. what I've trained in and and you know and start again but I'm so glad that I did it yeah but, but what a musical to be involved in though the songs you can't help but know and love and you must have a favorite so what is your favorite from probably uh, I mean you're not old enough from from the first time round from the, or from the film but what, what what is it that sticks in your mind from maybe from when you were a bit younger and singing along to from when I was younger, probably Grease Lightning. That was like the big number. But for me now doing the show, it must be Grease is the word because mm-hmm. it's like the opening of the show. We're all on stage together. Like That's my favourite number. And uh, a big cast for this one as well. And uh, it, a, a lot of different members of the cast getting a lot of adoration. Obviously, Tom gets his fair share of whistles when he comes on the stage. Yep. But Eugene is very popular. Yeah, he's extremely popular. But it, it's such an iconic character. Like, and, and he's amazing in the show. And he also does lots of tricks as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he's he's incredible. So, yeah, he gets some massive, massive cheers. And... With the the other work you've done, were you and Tom both on the same series of The Jump? Yeah, so I met Tom, well, we, uh, a year ago we did The Jump together in Austria and like all these things, you never think you're going to be working with these people again mm-hmm. and it was exactly a year later that we started rehearsals for this and I was like, who'd have thought when we were up those mountains that we'd be here a year on? Are you tempted to do that sort of stuff again? Did you enjoy the... the, the that's got to be the biggest adrenaline rush from any of these things but you obviously Strictly's there. Is yeah, there anything I else think, that you fancy? No, I'm not really sure. I loved... I loved Strictly. Um, I possibly do like the jungle or something like that, but in years to come, not mm-hmm. yet, not yet. And obviously, with everything else you've got going on, I should think that's quite difficult to fit in because I mean, you've even done panto and the like as well. Yeah, yeah. So we do panto most years. I won't be doing it this year because obviously we'll be still doing this. But yeah, I've been really busy. I've been very lucky. When you are approaching a role like uh, Rizzo in this, uh, did you go back and like watch the film, or have you seen previous stage productions that uh, have helped along the way, or did you just make it your own by reading the script? I think you have to make it your own. Obviously, I know the film. I know the film inside out, um, but I decided not to. I watched the Grease live, which was like the American version that they did recently with Vanessa Hudgens, mm. and I watched that before my first audition, and then I just thought, I'm just not going to watch. I can't watch the film because you can't. I'm not Stockard Channing. I never will be you know so you have to have your own take on it so yeah I've decided to kind of stay clear of that <laughs> and obviously again some fantastic scenes in the uh, the production on stage which is your favorite moment on stage for me it's the the well we call it the pg scene which is the kind of is she isn't she pregnant scene mm-hmm. um it's kind of a still moment of the whole show which is just crazy crazy music loud and then you have this like scene of Silence, which is really nice and really good for me, obviously, being an actress. Yeah, you actually get to ex- explore a character re- yeah. uh, really well. And that's something you maybe don't necessarily expect in uh, a musical which is as, as big on the music as this is. Yeah, yeah, but it's needed because it is the story of Greece and that's kind of what everyone everyone is waiting for, you know. Well, I mean, Greece is the word is at Wolverhampton's Grand Theatre on the 27th of November through until the 2nd of December. 01902 429212 is the box office number. Grandtheatre.co.uk to get your tickets and come along and see the fantastic Rizzo from, 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 from Louisa Lytton. Thank you for joining us and thanks for having a chat. Thank you.